G'day folks, remember Reddit? That wretched, wretched hive, hive of scum, scum and, and villainy? villainy? Well, my last two Reddit videos were mostly focused on bigotry and hate speech, so I thought that this time we'd talk about some good old-fashioned internet stupidity. Say you've committed a crime, and you got away with it. Yay! Good for you. Now tell me, person watching this video, why in the goddamn world would you then post evidence of that crime to a publicly available forum? Now I'm not here to parade as a moral compass, so I'm not condemning these people for their mostly petty crimes. I am, however, going to roast the shit out of their lack of intelligence and self-awareness. But who am I talking about? R slash shoplifting. Yes, you heard me right, there is an entire online community dedicated to stealing stuff from retail stores. Or there was, and it grew to nearly 80,000 subscribers. But let's get a bit of backstory before we dive into their content. The subreddit was created back in 2009, when the human race was still happy, and was full of exactly what you'd expect. People would, I assume, go out and shoplift, and then take pictures and post those to their peers. But wait, how can something so blatantly illegal be allowed to exist on Reddit? Well, first of all, we know that some questionable stuff existed on Reddit for quite some time. But also, I imagine it's quite hard to prove that they actually stole the items that they were posting. And of course it is, r slash shoplifting sounds like the perfect place to post completely legitimate purchases, so there's really no reason to suspect wrongdoing. Except that the rules of the subreddit literally tell you to leave your morals at the door. Luckily, it did get caught in the 2018 wave of bans, so the community no longer exists. But hey, I said I wasn't condemning their crimes, just their content. So let's dissect this thieves' den. Now as I said, the sub did get banned, so all the posts that I have saved are either from other websites or cross-posted from other subreddits. So when I was doing my research for this video, you know, looking at the content on and about the subreddit, I noticed a few things. The first is that there is no subtlety here at all. No one makes any attempt to cleverly disguise the fact that they've been shoplifting, and some of them even include the word lift in the post title itself. The only ambiguity here is the posts that are titled Haul. The second thing is that they seem to justify shoplifting as either a genuine necessity, i.e. stealing medicine or food to literally survive, or as a way to stick it to the man by stealing expensive things from huge corporations just to, to make them hurt and for personal and financial gain. They even see themselves as heroic Robin Hoods, taking from the rich and giving to the poor, which in approximately 10 times out of 10 is themselves. And as they so righteously point out, even Thomas Jefferson is on their side, and we all know what a great guy he was. All right, I've teased you enough. What is it that they're stealing? What are these essential items that they need to survive but simply cannot afford? Well, they all seem to fall into a few set categories, and the first is food. And look, I can almost get behind this one, you know? If you are struggling and you need food but you can't afford it, I guess that makes sense. Maybe your sister's child is close to death and you're starving. You'll starve again. And I'm certain that's the only time that reference will come up during this video. Stealing one packet of Jolly Ranchers seems a bit weird, but maybe it's a new diet. The second category is clothes, and this one also nearly makes sense. Everyone has to wear them, you gotta wear them for work and school, right? Yeah, except that the hauls posted are almost all exclusively name brand expensive stuff, and I've never seen a school with a Gucci dress code. Now we stray even further from necessity with cosmetics, and this one is one of the most common hauls on the subreddit. I can see the logic, I mean the items are small but expensive, widely used but easily sold, can't really see the necessity though. I know it is a societal norm for women to wear makeup in certain situations, but I don't really think it's equivalent to stealing food to survive. The next category is tech and gaming, and much like the clothes and cosmetics, this one is all about personal gain. I don't think anyone would argue that five Xbox controllers or a full suite of Switch controllers is a necessity. But what about video games? I swear I read somewhere that the leading cause of death in adolescence was boredom, so yeah, that totally checks out. And I'm sure this person was just shoplifting these necessary items to work from home and make an honest living. It's about here, or possibly even a few minutes back in the video, where you see that r slash shoplifting is just bragging about the quantity and quality of the stolen items. 
It's completely shameless and contrary to the claims of its members that try to defend the subreddit. I'm willing to believe there's a very small chance that this sub started out as somewhere for people to go when they were down on their luck, going through hard times, maybe they were struggling with work and life and kids, they had nowhere else to turn, their friends couldn't help them, their family couldn't help them, they didn't want to steal but one thing led to another and what else could they do but take an entire gaming PC? So the next category of totally unjustifiable targets is what I would call random nerd shit. It's things that nerds like myself really enjoy, but also happen to fetch a nice price. Stuff like Magic the Gathering cards, Pokemon cards, Lego, all really popular. Need those Star Destroyers to survive, huh? Yeah, you never know when you're gonna have to fight off home invaders with three identical Lego spaceships. Or maybe he'll heroically donate them to less fortunate children. That could totally happen. It's okay, this person was just shoplifting to get their younger sister a ridiculously extravagant birthday present. Never mind the fact that any three of these 28 items would have made for a perfectly valid present and probably cost less than $20. Really stuck it to the man by stealing this pole, huh? This guy got a potato. That's fine. Thank God, at least one person on this sub seemed to have some sort of self-awareness. Guys, I'm sure Javert would have understood if Jean Valjean was stealing PlayStation games because his niece was bored. It's a necessity and it's a victimless crime. The mental gymnastics these people apply are Olympic level. I'm sure we can all empathize with one or two of their points, right? If you have to steal food to survive because it's your only option, that's fine. And if you have to steal from somewhere, I guess it makes sense that a huge corporation is going to be less affected proportionally than what they call a mum and pop store. But the rest of their justifications are absolute garbage. Shoplifting is moral. Shoplifting is fighting capitalism while saving money. This person got banned for politely asking questions, by the way. Shoplifting is an important part of supporting social justice. Or how about I take my shit, whatever it belongs to me or not. I love getting free things. I don't even tip people when I go to restaurants using my lifted income. I even steal from mums and pops if I get the chance. I don't have any morales. At least I'm making money without having to do a job. Unlike you. They posted detailed guides about how to steal from different stores, outlining the security measures and loss prevention policies. Even the frequently asked questions on the subreddit itself had explicit instructions on how to shoplift effectively. No wonder it was banned. This guy doesn't seem to share my understanding for the situation though. In fact, he wanted to sue Reddit for intentionally destroying his valuable intellectual property. Oh, what's the matter, pal? You noticing some loss because someone took something from you? I think we need to call Alanis Morissette. There are still subreddits out there that promote very similar ideals like r slash steal or r slash theft. Very sneaky. But the big ones like r slash stealing and r slash shoplifting are gone. So that basically brings us to the end of our tale. I know this one was a bit less intense than my other videos, but I hope you enjoyed as much as I did seeing the dumbest subreddit that I've found in quite a while. I know that it's very unlikely any of them really got caught, but I just can't imagine committing a crime and then posting evidence of that online. As always, huge thank you for watching, especially if you've watched all the way to the end. I'm hoping to post more regularly now that I've sort of settled into my new place and I'm in lockdown. So I'll see you in the next video, like and subscribe and have a good one.